you're you're muted, Emily. I'm sure. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Thank yeah. you so much uh, mm. for this invite. Um, mm. My name is Leonard Mcharo. I'm here with my wife, uh, Emily. Emily Mcharo. Yes. yes. And uh, yeah. together we we are the founders of Savo, mm. uh, and we run the company with a great team of uh, some wonderful, wonderful people. So mm. thank you, thank you, Dr. Thank nice you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you very much, Dem Charles. You've reached the age where you are finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> like, <laughs> that means that you, you've been together for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Asante Nisana, and we are happy. They're also here with the team that's working behind the scenes who are coordinating the logistics. I'm also here with my team, Christine Kaveke, who's also managing and has been the one um, liaising with the people who are you know, working with us. Uh, housekeeping rules, this is a recorded session so that you've already gotten the alert. And then the second thing is if you want to, to post a question as the presentation is going on, please use the chat button if you can. Um, there is the option of typing it out and there'll be a team of us just looking at it as we are going on. I'm using two screens, so don't think that I am a bit, that, that I have uh, cross-eyed, but uh, one of them is just to ensure that I'm able to last with you on a Mentimeter score that you're going to go through. But the other thing is also to ensure that we are you know, connected given the way these gadgets usually behave. So without further ado, I will share my screen uh, for a quick pulse on where we are at financially. And this will be done through uh, what do you say? This will be done through Mentimeter. So, so, so I hope you're able to see my screen now. And I want to please go to your phones. I hope you have your phones with you. And then go to the website written www.menti.com. So, www.menti.com and then you enter the password that is or the code is zero seven so i'll just give you a couple of minutes to log into that website this for those who are interacting with this tool for the first time it's an anonymous tool we will not be able to trace your answers to your phone so feel free to just be open about the questions and, and where you are at in terms of your financial wellness. The other thing is that uh, we are able to run a report, of course, based on the anonymous answers, and this will be able to feed into future conversations because we intend to have the conversations going on. I don't think we can solve everything today, and I, I'll be glad to be your host. So once you've answered, once you've uh, gotten into the website, www.menti.com, enter the code 47758607. Look at the code, sorry, it's on the screen, it's showing right on top. Yeah, here's the code up here. And I can see people are already answering the questions. Excuse me. And the first question is just about your age, and it's in brackets. Some of us are in the golden years, uh, but I can see uh, so far the majority are three. We have 37 participants on the call, including myself. So I expect not less than 30 answers. So far, the bottom right of the screen is in. Indicating that we have 13 people who are, uh, have answered. So I'll just give me. So, so now we have uh, the bracket of 36 to 40 years leading in terms of the demographics that we have. I'll give it two more minutes before moving to the next question. Please chat if you're unable to, if you're unable to get there. So I think we can, as you as you get in, you can you can still get the uh, the questions uh, according to your pass. Unfortunately, you will not 
be able to see your own asset if I move it after I've moved to this next slide. So overall, uh, most of us are between 36 to 40 and then closely followed by the 26 to 30 age group. And I see one person is above 46 years. Oh, we have the younger people uh, shooting up. Okay, uh, allow me to proceed. I think we've gotten the hang of it. Mcharos, are you also filling it out? Good, okay. So I will proceed. Okay, in terms of your gender, so this should be a quick one. Are you male, are you female? Do you prefer not to say? So we have uh, women leading by far. There's someone who was a male and then changed their mind. They went back to being, okay. So we have majority of the team members here or the audience are women. Congratulations to the men who showed up. Uh, I've been accused that most of my events are targeting women. So nowadays I'm very, very particular about the image that I put on the flyer because we are open to serving both men and women. So that was a quick one. Now this one, you're going to chat it, just use your tablet or your phone or whatever gadget you're using. And I'd like to know what is your main source of income in one word. It could be wash, wash, which is two words. It could be medicine. It could be business, salary. So that's an employed. There are business people here. There are people who get their income from farming. Good for you. Rent, rental income, a job, which is the same as salary also. Um, so when you look at the answers, the larger the font, the more the number of people who are saying the same thing. So you can see that salary is, most of us are in, I'll, I'll combine the employment, uh, job, salary into one. Um, there's someone who's spoken about medicine. So medicine could be, are you, are you employed? Are you... Um, for those who are chatting, you can go to, if you've not gotten onto the website, it's not too late, go to www.menti.com and then enter the code that's on the screen, which is 47758607, so that we are all interacting on the screen. So, Charles, you can see most of us on this audience are depending on salary, which is basically employment. Um, and followed closely by business. Then for this one, I just want you to chat, um, not more than three or four words. What is one expectation that you have for this FIRE session? Again, FIRE stands for financial independence and retirement early, retire early, sorry. So the Charles will tell us why they coined this word. So there's someone who expects that they will learn how to survive, I guess, beyond salary, how to make quick money, Mcharo. I hope you have the, the answer to that, how to fire, planning tips on uh, financial help, steps to get out of debt, how to build wealth, how to grow financially. People want to understand the fire thing, what is it all about, uh, sustained financial independence, creating wealth, and the questions keep on coming. I just need to know how to scroll down. But generally, I think them Charles, you're trying, you're seeing what is popping up. Uh, people are really, really keen on understanding how to build themselves financially. And there are those that want to learn how to get out of debt. debt. Okay, so I'll go to my next question. Now this one you use on your screen, the gadget, you move the cursor. So here is how you move the cursor. You just go on the left side is you strongly agree with, disagree with the st statement. On the right side is you strongly agree with the statement. 
So the first statement, I operate on a clearly written budget month on month. So if you agree, please move the cursor straight onto the right side. Depending on how well you agree, you could have a budget, but you don't operate on it. You could not have a budget, so you go to strongly disagree. So on each statement, you need to put your answer. I have more than three sources. This is the nation, like some of us on the employment. Um, I have insurance to cover big unexpected expenses. So B gets COVID-19, you get admitted to Aga Khan University Hospital and your, and your bill comes to 16 million shillings. Are you able to sort that bill using insurance? Um, I, I started saving from my first job or from my first business. Are you those people who learned how to be financially savvy from the beginning? And I sometimes fuliza or borrow to make ends meet for my regular expenses. So we have very many quick win, quick sources of income, whether it's Fuliza, whether it's all those apps that keep on promoting borrow, borrow, borrow. So how many of us are, and I can see the button is moving slowly towards the right. I would say 50%. Okay, it's reducing to maybe a third of us actually use uh, the quick lending apps. So Charo, maybe speak to that and tell us um, how does that look like? But I'm very happy that many of us have, we started saving from our first job or our first business. And also almost half of us operate on a clearly written budget on month. Unfortunately, less than a third of us have more than three sources of income and less than half of us have insurance to cover that. So this is a worrisome um, score that we are looking at situations where we have to go to a quick money lending app to sort out our regular finances. The other step, is the same way you do. You did the first, the, other, the previous slide, that I have very clear financial investment goals. So I have something written down, and within this uh, plan, I know that I want by the time I'm 30, by the time I'm 50, that I should have this kind of investment, whether it is financial, whether it is an asset, or rather, whether it is cash, an asset. So do you have a clear financial investment goal? I have money spread in more than three investment options. So for example, you have money in real estate, you have money in treasury bills, you have money in a circle, you have money in, um, in the bank, though that is uh, interesting. Um, as long as you have three, sources of investment options. You can either agree or disagree with that. I understand basic investment options available. So for example, if the, the government tomorrow says there's a T-bill, they're floating, do you know what that means? Or if you hear that um, SACOs are loaning, giving loans on a 12% reducing balance, do you understand what that means? If you hear that your return on investment on purchasing, let's say an apartment is around 8% per annum, do you understand what that means? So that is what that question is asking. I have a solid retirement plan other than pension. So this one means that you're not relying on NSSF. So NSSF is 200 shillings a month and them charos will tell us how far this will get us. So do you have anything other than a solid other than pension, and pension here could also be your employer uh, mandated pension scheme. Uh, I have an emergency fund that can take me more than three months. So if anything were to happen to you today, are you able to survive without a source of income, without dipping into your 
investments and without borrowing to meet your month to month expenses for at least three months. So when you look at the answers, I'm very happy. Most of us have investment goals. A uh, few of us have money spread in more than three options. Uh, quite a number of us understand basic investment options. Very few of us have a solid retirement plan that's not pension. And the same few number also have an emergency fund that will take them for three months. The other one is I have a written will. So perchance something were to happen to you today, uh, what would happen to your assets? What, what would happen to your children? Basically, have you laid continue writing? I have an accountant whom I consult on my finances. So this just basically means that you have someone who's able to guide you. If you're on a business, then that is a requirement, but I am especially interested in your personal finances. So many of us, uh, when it comes to filing of care returns, at least I know I do that. I just get an accountant and give them my, you know, my pay slip and then they put returns. I don't even understand what they do. So. Do you, even apart from having that account and you consult, do you ask them, okay, how does my financial health look like? And this was a very interesting one. I increase my savings when my income increases. So you got this promotion and suddenly you have said, okay, um, I think now I can move to a bigger house or I think now I can buy a bigger car. So in terms of uh, your discipline, financial discipline. When you set aside, this is what I'll be saving every month. When your income increases, do you also increase the amount that you're saving? Uh, these are for those who have a credit card. Yeah, so it may not apply to everyone. I regularly use my credit card. And I think then Charles will tell us the pros and cons of having a credit card. Um, this is interesting, especially seeing that most of the audience is uh, composed of women. I use shopping as a form of recreation. So I feel sad, I feel depressed, I go out and shop for shoes. Or I see something on the internet, because now everything is online in terms of shopping, and you click and do, you know, everything is pay bill or MPSA, and you know, you have everything delivered. So. And Charles, you can see that we have a number of us, almost half of the respondents um, use shopping as a form of recreation. Okay, we are almost there. When you look at, um, in order of priorities from number one to five, one being your list in terms of priority and five being what you drank the highest in terms of priority. And this is personal. So all you need to do is just rearrange them from the screen. So um, the first one is a home, either one that's built or one that is bought. This is according to your person. There's no right or wrong answer. A new car, a family holiday, money in the bank, and earning money while you sleep. So let's see how you rank. One being the least prior in terms of priorities and five being the top most priority. Like you'd treasure having money in the bank over having a new car, over having a family holiday, over earning money while you sleep. So let's get voting. Okay. So quite a number of us consider earning money while they sleep being very uh, high, the highest on the rank. I can see there's a swap between the car and the family holiday. So we have people who value a holiday of a car. Uh, the numbers are increasing. Oh, so having a home is ranking higher. And then, okay, it's been overtaken again. So keep on voting. I'll give it a couple more seconds. 
So the family holiday vis-a-vis -vis a car are, are the ones that are back to back. Great, so um, I see that earning money while you sleep is ranking top most. That basically means that you have a passive source of income, which means that whether or not you put in an effort or show up, the asset is going to give you a form of income at the end of the day. So Charles, I hope you've taken note of that. And last slide before I hand over to them, Charles. So this requires you to introspect. When it comes to your journey towards FIRE, that's financial independence and retiring early, where are you at? Are you at the slot where I need a lot of help because I mean a lot of I have a lot of debt. Do you feel like you are headed towards financial difficulty? Maybe this past one or two years have been very tough and you had a plan in place, but you know, things have really not gone as the way you thought. Um, or you think you're doing a fair job financially. You you see based on the financial temperature chart we've gone through that you're not too bad and so far no one thinks they're doing a great job financially so this is why we need them charos here um quite uh, understanding to the ones who've ticked the box that they are in a lot of debt and i think at the end of this session i'll also share contacts of uh, people who are able to support you to get out of debt, because this session is just about, you know, sensitizing you and we'll follow up with other sessions, but you will, may need personal coaching and personal um, financial mentorship to get yourself out of debt. So with that, I think I am happy that there's one person who knows they're doing their, a very good job. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, I really appreciate that you've taken the time. It's been a great insight in terms of understanding where everyone is at. And at this juncture, I'd like to hand over to them, Charles, um, to just take over. So as they're talking, they'll tell us uh, whether they will want us to interrupt in terms of asking questions or whether we can also type into the chat box. Karibu Nisana, Emily and Leonard. Asante Sana, uh, Dr. Adis, thank you so, so much. Um, this is very interesting. This uh, menti, me, me, you call it men, menti? Mentimeter. Mentimeter. Yes, I think yes it's, it's a mentimeter. Yeah. yeah, I think if you don't mind that we, 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 we can sort of uh, weave uh, um, our story into the question, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we, 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 we're able to talk, we usually talk best when we come, when, when we use our story. Yes. Um, and we don't mind interruptions. No, we don't mind interruptions. Yes, yes, we'd actually want to just, uh, you type it in or, Raise your hand. or whatever, yeah. um, so that we, we just make it as read as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we are a bit uh, off, a bit, a bit uh, <laughs> uh, not not weird. We are we we are sort of extremists, mm -hmm. I think, in a, in a way. Yeah. Um. So because of that, we don't mind difficult questions. Yeah. I think. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. I I, I think that if you could share that screen, um, and then we just go. Um, I don't know. We just start at the beginning. Yeah. And and sort okay. of try and. Uh, a bit more, a bit oh yeah. Okay. We start with the introduction. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just ask that you do a bit of introduction so that you have content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. of, of really who we are. Uh, yes, we have already said we're married. Mm -hmm. So we have two sons, 20, 20 and going to 18. 20 and 18. 20 yes. and 18. Um, we met in campus. Yes. Uh, we she, met she, she, campus. she came and sat at my desk. That's a, me, I, I, say that. I could, I could. Uh, I didn't know he was the owner of the desk. <laughs> I was reading, yeah, <laughs> that's my defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so met in campus, got married very young, and uh, and our our lives, our lives was our lives was was really 
around finances. I mean, there was marriage, of course, but we started having conversations around finances when we were very young, from, from the, the very from the beginning. Very beginning. Uh, because uh, when we met, we were both going through difficult times. Our families were going through difficult times. Um, having lost my dad when I was 10, and he, I think, um, and my father-in-law lost his job in his, just when he yes, turned 50, yes, yeah, and we were both in campus at the time. And so we, we met when things were really, really thick. So it was very important for us to have the conversations around finances. From way at the beginning, uh, we became indisciplined, I think, at some point. But we were very quick to, to, to change course, um, like about a year or two after we had started working formally. Yes, actually a year. I think about a year after we had started working. So I, like all of us, we start working and, and we spend consumerism. Uh, we shop when we're depressed. Re retail therapy, is that what it's called, Liz? Uh, but after one year, we changed and, and started having, you know, continued with our conversations earlier. Mm -hmm. and started investing so really mm -hmm. that's 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 been who we, we are. our marriage has really been shaped by 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 lots of financial conversations lots of decisions around finances that we, we kept making jointly mm -hmm. uh even as we continued working uh i used to be i was a banker for many years i worked for shell then went into the banking industry uh for many years and and uh while he was an architect so that entire period our lives were really, really just shaped by the financial conversations we kept having. Mm -hmm. And we now ultimately ended up working together as, as, as an artist, let me call him an artist, and a this serious finance person. And somehow we found a way to, to work together. Mm -hmm. So I think the rest of the story, we can weave it you know, around mm -hmm. the questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want to add anything? Um, let me just share some, some years back, uh, my mom had come to visit us. Mm -hmm. And um, she found my wife and I, you know, we're always admitted mm. talking and talking and yeah. talking. And then um, she, she, she mentioned to me, I'm from the coast. She said, mm. hey, when I'm talking, I'm like, sana, I'm now, yeah, sana. Mm. Like, no, no, mom. What, what we have is we have such high financial goals and our income is so little. Yeah. Somehow we think if we keep talking, mm. we will sort of learn how to, how to bridge that gap. Yeah. And yeah. she said something that I found very interesting. This was very early in our marriage. She said, if you get your money conversations right, yeah, you have sorted about you have sorted out eighty percent of your okay, marriage. marriage. Yeah. Now I'm not sure about the the, the accuracy of the percentage, oh, but I think it's actually very very high. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, I think yeah. um, for yeah. us, our, our financial journey has dictated how our marriage works. It has dictated how we raise our children. Yeah. yeah. It has dictated um, uh, you know where we live, how yes. we live. Yes. Um, yes. So. A lot of things have been around that yes. because I think it is the first thing we did mm. when we started dating. Yeah, yeah. By yeah. understanding that uh, where we are is a matter of circumstance, yes. but where we are going is a matter of choice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so we, we we took the financial journey and put it above everything almost else. everything else. Yeah. And yeah. and that has sort of um, guided us on the journey. Yeah. 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 So in a nutshell, that's mm. that's us. But we yeah. we talk yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. So Liz, maybe just share. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so I think I'll start on this slide, um, which is uh, the kind of source of income. Mm. Okay, mm. okay. Or do you want to start with the age? No, no, we can start um, with the age. No, 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 we can start with the age. Let's start with the age. Mimi, I'm the, the golden, golden years. Be honest with you. Yeah, not... you are the one who checked that one. <laughs> No, no, I, I have, a, I have, a, I have, a, I, have a, I have a colleague inside here who has, a, who has <laughs> still that age because yes. I, 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 I use my wife. It. Yeah, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm 47 years old. And, and I'm 42. Yeah, yes. yeah. So yes. she's 16, going on. Uh, I'm 42. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, it's been interesting because then we started our journey when I was um, about 29. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two years, two years out of college um, is when we sort of began investing. We started discussing the matter in 1998. So I was, I, was, I was barely 24 and she was, well, uh, you, you do the math. She was a teenager. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so we, we have learned never to despise um, issues of, of, of the young, uh, because I think yeah. you, you get some concept when you are youth. You sort of um, you, yeah. you 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 pick on them, yeah. So we we've yeah. been on the journey for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I think officially from two thousand and four, end of two thousand and three. 
um, until now. So that's that's 18 years of, of, uh, of diligently being on the journey with ups and downs, but being here. Yeah. 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 So I think that's why the age is important. That's why so Mcharo, maybe the Mcharo was like, you guys had a, an early start. So for those of us who are in 40, I'm 43. Mm -hmm. So uh, is it too late for me? Um, no, because I think I think you need if the people have sort of studied, if you get 10, 15 years solid of, okay. of just discipline, it doesn't matter where you are, um, mm -hmm. you, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and your resources are more now. Yeah, the resources are more now. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. We okay. started, on, I was adding 15 G, she was adding about 30. So, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. wait a minute. So rewind that. So she was adding more than you. <laughs> She has she has earned more than me from the very beginning. I'm one of those uh -huh. guys. Uh, I I am the dreamer. So she said I was the artist. So artist somehow yeah. within the head. Yeah. So financially. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but I had a someone from someone who said, hey, brother, if your wife earns more than you, spend it. So I've I've never had issues. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's a big thing with many couples where there's mm. the imbalance, not imbalance, where the woman is earning more and and there's. Mm people feel that 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 relationship won't work so it's good to know that those relationships actually it's all about communication exactly. okay so the next slide is about just uh, the gender so do you do, do you in terms of your in terms of your relationship who is the more serious person mm. <laughs> so do you think do you think that emily being there um mm. with her financial acumen at that time mm. was you know, shaped how you two made decisions as a couple? And is it a factor of her, your skills as Emily as finances, or that women are generally maybe more uh, financially, let's say, they, they, they look what after I, the sense? Yes, <laughs> yes. I think, I think not entirely. Um, there are many of us who are very, very good, you know, uh, financially, like, you know, you're an accountant, you understand finances, you understand investment, but it doesn't reflect in your personal life. Mm. Just because either you, you practice it for people or for your employer, but when it comes to you as a person, then, you know, the, the challenges that everybody faces, you also face the same challenges. I feel mm -hmm. uh, we were able to do what we did mainly because he was more the visionary. So he had all these big dreams, big goals, and he provided leadership. Um, and leadership does not mean that he had to earn more than me. Leadership is mm -hmm. he actually made me become the best, you know, the best version of myself. Uh, uh, did very well, you know, even in my, my role in, the, in Shell, in the bank, made very good uh, career decisions and also have clarity around our, our finances and our financial independence journey and steered that journey as the leader of the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I don't think it was purely, maybe it helped because in those conversations, of course, now it's easy to grasp, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think it was mainly because I am I'm a finance person, no. Mm -hmm. His leadership okay. played a very big part, yeah. Okay, so I think um, the next slide is about your sources of income, and I think you've alluded to a bit of it, but maybe just clarify a bit. So. Uh, I'll give an example. I have, um, and I've shared this on my social media handles. I've actually tendered my resignation uh, with my employer. Very good job in terms of money, but um, no job satisfaction, I think, to, summar to summarize it. Um, and I'm at a transition phase. So I'm seeing here quite a number of us on this call are pegging our source of livelihood on salaries or employment or a job but i see business following close after and i, I know and here I, I was very purposeful to say the main source mm. because i know being kenyans we have quite a number of things so what 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 has been your journey around this uh, space of income source maybe i'll take this up right at the beginning when we when we began this journey mm. um I was earning a salary, it was not much. I was a university lecturer. I'm earning fifteen thousand shillings, and I was doing my side hustles on the. I was doing my hustles on the side. 
Yeah, so the last that sort of helped. Yeah. And Emily was uh, was was working for Kenya Shell at that time. Yeah. So so we had two incomes, though not much, mm -hmm. but we had two incomes anyway. Yeah. Now our decision, and I think it's about I think um, today's talk will really be about decisions and mindset. Yes. I think yes. I think I think that's that, that's that's the mm -hmm. those are the things that have um have have, have sort of Set, shaped us and guided us. Yes. So we made a decision very quick that one, we will live on one salary, yeah. mm -hmm. invest in the second income mm -hmm. to create a third That's source of income. Mm -hmm. So the idea was to I always have three and live on one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that even if, even if one of us got, got fired, mm -hmm. which has happened several, yeah. several times over, over time. <laughs> it has to be Mucharo. <laughs> 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 the dreamer. <laughs> yeah. So just yeah, repeat yeah. that concept. I think it's yeah. a very good. Uh, just repeat the concept of the three sources yeah, of yeah, income. Yeah, yeah. So three, we are earning two incomes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Emily, Emily is earning an income. I'm earning an income. The uh, idea was to live on one. Yeah. And yeah. then use the second one to create a third one mm. in terms okay. of investments. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we, we were those guys with the we we we, we sort of decided to have panel vision. Mm. Um, Emily is here. She is an accountant. She's a, an economist. She's a, a chartered financial analyst. So she, see, so mm. she understands money from economics, from accounting, from uh, financial analysis. Mm. Um, I'm an architect and I love architecture. I mean, I love it to bits. So I understand the technical things about Mjengo. So we decided to just focus on one thing. So we, we never bought plots all no. over the place. No. All the income I got, I put it towards this mm -hmm. um, this uh, this yeah. endeavor uh, mm -hmm. in the student hostel. So yeah. every shilling we got it there, every salary raise we got it there. Yeah. So at the beginning we were spending all of Emily's uh, income mm -hmm. um, and saving all my income. So I'm those guys who went to ask for bus fare and lunch <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. you know, everything I, I sort of got from her. Um, which helped because I'm, I'm naturally very, very arrogant. So when you have to ask for money from the wife, and, and that I think has been good training. I'm not there yet, but um, <laughs> making steps, making steps um, yeah, throughout. So by doing that, then you are able to sort of just focus, just co have complete focus. Then as her salary increased, we, we put a cap. We put a cap for expenditure. So that any extra still went towards this, uh, towards this uh, yeah. investment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, you got a place where we are spending about seventy percent of my income, um, mm -hmm. investing the thirty yeah. percent, investing all my income, yeah. and more importantly, all the income from the investment, taking it back yeah. into the investment. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, 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 because we were in a hurry to get out of dependence on salary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I can tell you, the day our rental income became more than our individual salaries. Of course, of course, by 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 having that move, we work you work hard. You can't be complacent. Yeah. You can't wait for mm -hmm. a twenty percent salary increment or ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, you sort of you yeah. push. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So because, since I was earning little. I used to be her chief advisory board <laughs> <laughs> on, how to make, on how to make career moves where she can make more money so that we can challenge it towards the uh, towards the uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think that's a, that's mm -hmm. I, I I think that's a very interesting concept. But I'm just wondering because I remember for those who have uh, don't know them, Charles and and myself and my ex who are very close because we we graduated from university around the same time. So I'm just thinking, well, the rest of us are hustling to, let's say, live in Karen, or we are hustling to drive this yeah, kind of I vehicle. remember your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the good things in life. So <laughs> how, how, how did you, um, yeah, how are you able to manage the pressure, first mm -hmm. of all, of your whole architect, she's a whole CFA, CFA and then you're here, um, okay, you'll tell us maybe to the extent you can, what kind of lifestyle you had to fit into the one salary, because I know it wasn't easy. And then the pressure of friends for you, Mcharo, 
if they were aware that you are here relying on your wife, mm -hmm. yet you are able to earn, you know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you you answer that. I think I think it's the the power of of knowing your why, of knowing the why you're doing what you're doing and uh, what your purpose. You know, Sorry, Emily, you're not very clear. Maybe speak to the mic better. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just the power of knowing your mm -hmm. why. So why mm -hmm. are you doing what you're doing? Uh, and what's your purpose? What's, what's driving you to do that? Mm -hmm. um, and that, that keeps you going. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. wasn't easy. Definitely, it wasn't easy because we had to make decisions about, um, you know, where we will live. How much rent are we willing to pay? Uh, what food will we eat? Where will we buy our clothes? Uh, decisions like those and actually putting a cup helps because mm -hmm. as much as you're feeling bad, you don't have access to extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, in different seasons, there's a season where I think I earned 50,000. We were, sp we were living on 30,000 and 20,000 was going to the circle. So, so it's a direct you know, deduction from your salary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as much as you're feeling bad about your 30, you mm -hmm. can't access the 20 mm -hmm. because it's going to mm -hmm. And locked, then when we started yeah. building, it's locked. When we started building, um, I remember our, our the contract, let me just call him the contractor, the gentleman who was helping us. Our, our caretaker. Our the, caretaker. The control of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> he, would, he would buy materials. He would plan on your money. He knows you're going to get a bonus. He mm -hmm. would buy materials, check on, on credit, credit, and send you the bill. So immediately your bonus <laughs> checks in, sure, it has, it has gone. So I think, yes, the power of knowing why you're doing what you're doing is helpful, but actually putting mechanisms, mechanisms. Yeah, yeah, that on a monthly mm. basis, uh, you know, will not allow you to change that behavior. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel where, we, where we, the struggles we have gone through, we, we do not want to get to a place where we have no income the, 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 like the, no the fear of poverty it's it, so bad it, it's an important thing <laughs> it makes you it's a different yeah it's important yeah. Because, yeah. We, were, we were at a very bad place when we met and yeah. we said we so, will at uko asuta rudi asuta rudi uko tena yeah so yeah. Uh -huh. the, the, the many people many people depend on inspiration mm. um uh -huh. I, I, we, we we don't do too much on inspiration just take it once in a while and move on um, mm -hmm. Other people depend on goodwill, on um, on willpower. Yeah. 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 I'm mm -hmm. going to do this. I'm going. Yeah, that's good, but it's too hard. Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do that's is mechanism. put mechanism, which which you lose control. Yeah. You know. So if if person in a cut on a circle, you you're, I mean you, you get a certain amount, you get a certain amount. Yeah. Period. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this guy, his name is Musioki. I think mm -hmm. every time we tell our story, Musioki always features. We work together until now. Yeah. Yeah. He mm -hmm. was a caretaker and contractor. He, we had given him full power. Mm -hmm. So he knew as an architect, I'm going to earn fees in two weeks. Utapata kama how much? Utapata kama 150. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to the hardware. And he buys materials worth 150. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't say to all, let's go to Naivasha. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. That money yeah. goes direct. Yeah. Madam gets yeah. her letter in January. And he knew. He had understood our careers. Koi <laughs> <laughs> Emily gets a letter in January. You were entitled to 352,460 in March. Mm. The guy goes mm. to the hardware and buys materials. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In a token. Yeah. And, and, and maybe as we go to the next slide, how did your children adapt to it? Because there's, there's need for, when you're taking those decisions, everyone mm. has to move the same way. So for adults, you might say, uh, you have the fear of poverty. For kids, they're not seeing it that way. So how did you manage that conversation? I don't know how you'll answer it, but uh, I, I think my kids, they knew that they were never going to become accountants because accountants are always good. <laughs> <laughs> accountants are always good. Accountants are broke people. Yeah? Uh, so, so when they were young, of course, they couldn't understand. They couldn't understand what we were doing. But I think there's a lot of conversations. There are certain things we would tell them. When they ask you something, you know, I've seen uh, Liz's daughter with XYZ mm -hmm. and they want the same. We would tell them, Uko si, Uko ni Uko, apa ni apa. Mm -hmm. Here is the way we live. Mm -hmm. so, so just telling them, uh, in our house, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, he always had theories, philosophies, uh, mm -hmm. 
you know, he philosophized this thing. You, you, you have to pray, you watch the children, you yeah. understand that your lifestyle is a good life. It's a good life. Otherwise, yeah. you end up in problems. Yeah. So he tell them, you don't need toys, you need useful i don't know you, you, you need to create so yeah by the way you need to yeah. sorry you're you're skipping now oh, oh yeah yeah so don't have toys which are you need to create your own thing so okay. in our family creation daily creation was was yeah. mandatory yeah so by mm. somebody at piano they are so busy practicing they have no time to go and they don't know find out what the neighbors are, are doing. Yeah. our kids never had those things they had mm. they had useful useful documents yeah. uh, they are useful the gadgets Gadget, yeah. and um, the one thing that we didn't spare money on was an education, education yeah. and, and i'll just learn to give an example eh? mm -hmm. so our firstborn mm -hmm. is 20 years old mm -hmm. um educated in some of the most expensive schools in this country mm -hmm. um, he is currently earning 30,000 shillings mm -hmm. he saves half he, wow. half. he yeah. invests half his i mean he's a 20 not, year not, old not half of that half of gross half of gross <laughs> The what? Guy, his strategies, yeah. he, he invests 15 and then makes uh -huh. two with the Next with the balance. Five, with 10. 10. Yeah. 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 So so but that's now that's that's can you imagine now? I mean we are we're quite okay financially. I'd mm -hmm. be having problems with my car being hit. Yeah. The guy didn't even know how to mm. drive, he's not even interested. Mm. Yeah, because we have we taught them making money is a beautiful thing. Spending money is slavery. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. So yeah. Mm. you feed those things, you know. Yeah. Thirteen years, ah, you are you are okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So so even the okay. second one is still in high school, but we we don't have yeah. we don't yeah. have issues. The guy who give pocket money and he, he brings it back or something. He doesn't even know what to do with it. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow, that's that's really <laughs> again. You require <laughs> mechanisms from when they're young for them to understand that uh, making is good. Spending, spending is, is, is not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and you have to walk the talk because there's exactly. talking and then there's, there's something yeah, different. Yeah. So, okay, so this is this is the first slide in terms of rating. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you want to talk about having a budget. What's the essence of that? Yeah, okay. from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually it has to be from the beginning. Yeah. Right now we would say things that are not very relevant. relevant. Mm -hmm. Yes. So at, at the beginning, uh, I think we actually operated on a very strict budget. Um, mm -hmm. Now, if you're if you're if you're earning fifty, for example, and you're putting twenty in the sack and you're remaining with thirty, and you have to live on the thirty, we literally had to sit and write how much how much would go to meet, how much would go to hotel, how much because it's just that thirty because mm -hmm. whatever he was earning, he was busy trying to buy land. And, you know where we built the hostel. So you know that if in, if I take a thousand of this thirty and did X, we won't have food. Yeah, uh -huh. we will, actually uh -huh. there's a time when we will not be able to buy food. Uh -huh. So so we operated on a very strict budget for a very long time. Uh -huh. At the beginning, we budgeted with him, uh, just to understand the numbers. In time, it was just clear yours covers house expenses. So however uh -huh. I covered house expenses was my business right mm -hmm. but if i went over and above that amount whatever it was then we'd have a big shortfall and then what what would we do because they're basic needs mm -hmm. yeah yeah at, at, the, at, the, at the beginning um the black book yeah we had the black book where everything was written yeah. and then we came up a supermarket we knew the roots you go here you buy this you go here you buy this you go here you buy this yeah I think you used to shop yourself. At, at, at the beginning, yeah. I used to shop myself because yeah. I knew it had to be this amount. Yeah. After a while, yeah. I, I, I sort of, I sort of let go. Yeah. 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 Okay. There's, okay. There's one please I'll tell you. I I was in a shop and my, I was, I'd taken my sister to shop and uh, she she was buying a dress. So she said, "No, try this. This dress looks really nice." Uh, back in the day when you know you didn't have the luxury of just picking dresses mm -hmm. as you go, and <laughs> and I said, "Yeah, I like it, but I have corn charo." Mm -hmm. But so I was in shock. She's like, what, 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 what do you mean you have to call him? Because mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I mean, where is this money going to come from? Mm -hmm. He has to know, not because he needs to know, just because we need to know where is this uh, X amount going to come from to buy the dress. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it was okay. It, it's not that I'm in Kenya, I'm in Kenya. It's mm -hmm. because we're working together. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. A question that maybe might come from the audience is, hey, I'm yeah. a, where do you live? Now, the strange thing is, 
if you do something for a while, it becomes and, habit. Yeah. It becomes who you are. Yeah. Then, then yeah. you started doing it. Yeah. 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 So it's like going to the gym the first day you feel pain. After a while, you just want yeah. to go to the gym. So mm, mm, for us, it, it became it became it became fun. Yeah. The first five six years were were, were, tough. were tough. Yeah, because I'm not from this. After that, when you start hearing at the Mpesa, current kanengia, current kanengia, I tell you that Mpesa sound is it's a, it's a beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's orgasmic. Just say it. <laughs> okay. So thanks for that. In terms of sources of income, I think you've talked, alluded to it, but <laughs> when you define income, mm-hmm. what's what's your definition of income? Because I think for us, especially as medics, you're thinking um, it's working in Nairobi Hospital part time and working in MP Shah part time, working. Mm-hmm. So they're counting mm-hmm. more of maybe similar sources of income, mm-hmm. and and so what's what's really your definition of income here? And what would you advise on having more than one income? Let me stay and then you say. Uh, for me, I believe that money is, a, we said today is about a decision that money. Yeah. Money is a wonderful servant, mm. a beautiful servant, mm. because she works 24 7, takes no holidays. Mm. But she's an equally ruthless master mm. because mm-hmm. she will drive you 24 7, you know, no day off. Yeah. So yeah. I always, Maybe because I'm I'm inherently lazy, so I've always hated. Mm-hmm. No, but it's true. <laughs> I've always hated working for a living. Yeah, so I'm 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 lazy. I'm 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 very arrogant. I used to fight with my bosses. I mean, to no end because I didn't care. I didn't care if you fire me, Shauriako. I will start afresh. Mm-hmm. So I I we learned very early to turn the thing to make money work for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So when I talk about income, for me, the income that would matter is the income that I would get when I'm in shags. Mm. Yeah, I'm in shags. I'm looking at the farm. There's no rain, but I know the, the money is coming in. That's mm-hmm. that, 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 that for me is income from passive income. Now, yeah. for us, we have to be very deliberate. Mm-hmm. She understands money. I understand the uh, buildings. Mm-hmm. Then over time, my knowledge has moved to her, her knowledge has moved to me, so we, we sort of cross pollinate. Yeah. Uh-huh. So all our money comes from rent. Mm. Yeah, so if you look at the class, the, the, the class of um, the investment class, okay. ours, ours is one, just one asset class. Mm. But I think uh-huh. it is many because then we have very many small houses, very many rooms. Yeah. We, we don't own anything more than one bedroom. No, no. There are no. studios, one bedroom, so we, but we have, we have very, very many. many of them. So mm-hmm. Okay. So we have to think beyond employment as a like counting them as source of an income. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I think think passive. Think passive. Um passive. That, Where, when you mean passive, passive, what do you mean? So passive is income that uh you annually fixed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You've been set and uh and your investment is giving you a return without you doing anything. Right, so it's not it's not a business because mm-hmm. business is active. It requires you. It's not farming. Farming needs you. Mm-hmm. It's not consulting like you are saying, going to like different uh-huh. hospitals. It's none of that. Mm-hmm. It is income where I will be sick. I am lying here for two months, and at the end of the month, I'm still receiving something. Mm-hmm. That is what mm-hmm. passive. Is. So it doesn't require your active involvement. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 yeah. Interestingly, sorry to hang on here. But, um, when you think income, you realize that we don't think about Savo. Yes, Savo yes. is income to us. No, no. Because we don't we don't use it. Yes. We use mm-hmm. income that we made before even starting Savo. Yeah. Oh. Day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our rental income we, we were, from the hostel. From the hostel. Oh, the ones in uh, Yes. Yeah. 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 So that that okay. that is the definition of our income. Mm. When I get enough money from Savo for us to build our own apartments, for us to get rent from those apartments, mm-hmm. then that is income. Yeah. But Pesa mm-hmm. Yakuza Manyumba, that is company That's money. Company. It's not it's not our yeah. income. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And for us because yeah. it is something that we're actively involved in. Yeah. So that's active. So that's yeah, 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 yeah. So for us, income okay. the way we find it, it has to be passive. Yeah. Okay. I think I will skip. Mm. Okay. I'll skip the others and just if you can. 
look at the Fuliza the quick, quick, quick long thing. Maybe speak to that. Well, <laughs> because um, I get the, the other day I got a message from M. Shari. Oh, it's been long. You know, we've even increased the amount of credit you can access. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it said yeah. you those messages. <laughs> so, Sisi, when, when we met, um, we were going through hard times because our parents were paying loans. Yeah. So, uh -huh. we know the pain of, uh, of debt. Of debt, yeah. So, okay, obviously, we have never, we never get those messages because yeah. We, yeah, have, we, we, have, we, have, we have never even tried. Yeah. As, yeah, as yeah. a rule, so we even even, even as a business, we, we don't even borrow from banks. Yeah. Even even no borrow mm -hmm. loans, we don't yeah, we we, don't we keep away from them. Yeah, and it's something we did from the very beginning. Yeah. At the beginning, we borrowed when she was working from the bank. Yeah, 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 paying um, a very low interest. Yeah, but then after that, when she got out of the bank, we paid very quickly and said, "Had to Tena. 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 Yes. However, we understand the power of these things, the harmful effects of these things. Mm. So what happens is the guys who come to the office. I think we started this. 2020, no, January 2020. Um, we had guy. We asked again in the office, how many of you have these things? One guy had, I think, 21, 21 loans. 21. I yeah, thought there were like apps. three. Kumbe, these things are so many. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think within about six months, everybody in the office yeah, had, had, had 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 cleared mm. without getting a salary increment, without you know making their lifestyle Mindset. worse. Once the mindset was changed, because you know, we realized if, before these apps came, we all lived. So, somehow we lived. Yeah. And then when they came, we realized, hey, yeah, we need to do that, we need it now. Yeah. yeah so it's that, it's that yeah. thing of one thing, thing chop chop. Yeah. But uh, they are, they are harmful. harmful. I got a message uh, from one of those things. Mm. One of my cousins had borrowed 14,000 shillings mm. and she was being charged 2% per day. Compounding interest. So, so of course they 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 bully they, they have to bully the people in your contact. So yeah. I was I was one of those victims. And um I I I did the math. Mm. If she did not pay for a year, that amount would come to 19 million shillings. What? Yes. Yeah. That's what two percent does. Two percent. Two percent from fourteen thousand. k to nineteen million a year. For anybody who knows how to use the calculator, do the math. Yeah. If you take a thousand shillings and you're paying now one percent, forget two percent, you're paying one percent uh. per day, one thousand will become thirty-seven thousand shillings here at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So these things are because you think one percent, see ten bob, yeah. one percent mm. of a thousand shillings, see ten bob two. Tomorrow you're paying mm. ten bob two. A thousand mm. plus ten bob. Interest yes. on there, a thousand plus ten bob. The yeah. next day, so it's compounding. You're it paying compounds interest on interest. every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so, we don't do the math. Yeah. Yeah, it's only 500 shillings, it's only a thousand shillings, yeah. it's only 15 G's, it's only 20,000 mm -hmm. shillings. But mm -hmm. the compounding mm -hmm. is devastating. Yeah. Um, Warren Buffett says, um, yeah, uh, co compounding is compound interest is the eighth one of the world. Mm -hmm. Those who understand it earn it, mm -hmm. those who mm -hmm. don't understand it pay it. Mm -hmm. So, when it comes to interest, just, just ask yourself. Are you earning interest or are you paying interest? Paying in uh -huh. so if you're paying interest, you are uko going down, down, and that pit is bottomless. Yeah. If you're um, earning it, that uh, yeah. yeah. It's I, it's going I, going I, yeah. Exactly. I think that, that principle is applied, whether it's liver, whether it's just a normal bank loan, yes. whether it's a circle loan, mm. just do the math. Whatever it is. Fast. Yeah. Do the math. Mm -hmm. It's possible to do whatever you need to do without taking a loan. Yes. Ultimately. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, it just creates more discipline because loans give you a, a false a sense false of confidence. Exactly. Uh, you know, this assumption that you will be able to pay. What if mm. you're not able to? Pay? What if mm. you're not able? To, you're not able mm. to pay. What if your life circumstances change? Mm. I mean, there are too many moving parts. Mm. Um, it is mm -hmm. possible because you know. We know. I used to struggle as an Okay. Yeah, we needed that. So mm -hmm. I, I like that, that uh, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. You are yeah. either earning or you're, you're paying. paying. So you, yeah. we need to get to the earning space. Mm -hmm. So in terms of earning those interests, um, what, what would be your maybe top line view so that we don't take too much time in terms of the different types of investment options. So yes, okay, I've uh, I've seen that I can save 10,000 shillings a month from what I 
I'm earning. Um, how do I, what do I invest it in? How do I prioritize this? Everyone is calling for that 10,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is think, there a principle uh, that you guys have lived by that maybe may help? Yes. Um, reading, reading a few books would, uh, would help. Mm -hmm. Simple book. I'll recommend a book called The Richest Man in Babylon. Very, yeah. very simple book. Yeah. You yeah. know, so that when you're asking, where do I invest? Mm. Um, mm. You know, invest in something that you understand. Mm. And by understanding, not that you had your cousin talk about it, is you understand how you can make money in it, from it, money. and how you can lose. Once you have understood the, the two extremes, because yeah. I think when, you, when it comes to investing, yeah. we tend to be too optimistic. Now, optimism mm. is bad for you. It's... Mm -hmm. it's um, you need to have a pessimistic view mm -hmm. so that you understand the downside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People invest for returns. Without but, understanding. Yes, but the first thing you should take care of is the risk. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Because uh, as Warren Buffett, I quote that guy a lot, says there are two rules to investment. Rule number one, never lose your money. And rule number two, never forget rule number one. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> if, if you understand the downside, so uh -huh. invest in something that you know, or with people who know what they are doing. Yeah. Not not uh -huh. not because they sound nice and flashy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. If the deal is too good, sit down and really consider it. Yeah. yeah. But uh -huh. um, uh, the richest man in Babylon is a book worth reading. Um, um, I think I think yes, yeah. even that, just that one. That's that's yeah. 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 Because then it will give you so simple lessons. Mm -hmm. Spend less than you earn. I mean, uh -huh. simple. they sound, yeah. they sound yeah. so easy. Yeah, yeah. And maybe I'll just say that the, the things of success, the, the, the habits of, of investments and success are so easy to do and they're so easy not to do. That's, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Not to do it is very easy to do it, but it's also easy not to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the other question maybe to tackle is about this emergency fund. Have you... Have you ever had to have this? Do, is this a must for people? Why can't I? You know, we have this principle, YOLO, you only live once. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. We, we have a very contrarian view. Mm -hmm. We have a very contrarian view when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. uh, in our early days, uh, we, we definitely didn't have a three month emergency fund. And it's because I don't think we, we would have been disciplined enough to leave it as an emergency fund. Yeah. Okay. So long as there was okay. money that was sitting somewhere, perhaps it was going to fight. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So we just made sure we, we, we didn't have. Were we being careless uh, at the beginning, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but but I mean we had we had we had insurance. Um, yeah, we had insurance. I don't know what else I can say we had, but we were just so laser focused on our journey of investing that we didn't want to be distracted by having some money aside that was going to be consumed by, I think, other people's emergencies and mm. not necessarily mm. our emergency. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, and we thank God that really, you know, we never got to a place where we felt something big has happened and we don't have the resources to sort it. That was at the beginning. Of course, later now, when we started having rental income, there's, you know, there's a season we were still working and we were still having the rental income. So in a sense, there was still income that was coming from mm. the three sources. Mm. Um, yeah. I, I would say that, that that then becomes the emergency fund because uh, even if one of us lost their job, there would still be the two incomes. Mm. Um, yeah, and at the beginning, if yeah. he lost the job, my income was there mm. without necessarily, I think living lean also helps because Emergency fund, you want to say this is my total budget now times three. Mm -hmm. But as we're like, ah, oh, the end of the buyer, you know, we spend very little. We spend very little. Yeah. So, so maybe just to echo what Emily is saying, and then this might go against um, mm -hmm. against uh, mm -hmm. um, good advice. Yes, yes. Mm. Our focus on, on investment was so thorough, it yeah. was so dedicated, yeah. we couldn't save. Mm. We have never believed in saving. Mm. We prefer to invest. Yeah. Yeah. Other than other than to save. Mm. We only saved at the beginning because we need to raise money. And we're saving in the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah. in the, the bank account, Pakaleo. 
mpaka leo banki yangu ainaga ainaga kitu hata sina ATM card mm. i mean mm. even to cause i believe money should be working for me not working for mm. some not i don't like my money working for someone else i don't mm. like working for money yeah. i want my money working for me so yeah. i deploy the money to the field mm. yes. the moment i get it i mm. put it there yes. yeah so we didn't have um, emergency funds no. because this money should be going there to work, to work. Yeah. so that mm. we wanted to move so quickly to a place where there is um um Jesus should tell parable i liken this daily financial independence to cows yeah? yeah for me having an emergency fund is having 10 beef cattle mm. and then leaving three on the side just in case so that unaweza kuchinja kule nyama but since mm-hmm. we believe in having dairy cattle yes, yes where the ngombe is there but you're getting a little milk every every day every day, every day. Mm. <laughs> yeah when you are that way then even the emergencies are not are not that major <laughs> yeah. because mm. a lot of the emergencies is called emergencies are not emergencies we create yeah. them yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We, we had actually yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah actually that that question is being raised re- re- resonated to by katiku who has posted about yeah. Uh, what's your take about social responsibilities in the society mm-hmm. where quite a number of people at this time seem to be going through a rough time so you're always in a whatsapp group yes, kuchanga yes. matanga kuchanga bibu but she yes. also says that um, how can she ensure consistency in saving because she finds herself going back to the savings <laughs> to sort mm-hmm. what always looks super important and yes. urgent yet not anticipated in the routine budgets yeah yeah So um maybe before the first one of the let, let, let's talk about the one of saving. Yes. Uh, our, our our method yeah. was don't save, invest. Mm-hmm. Once you invest, you can't you can't go into that into that jar and sort of mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Amanda, Amanda, we talked about mechanisms. Savings requires willpower. Yes. And yes. Uh, some of us have realized we are we don't have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you've accepted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hash you go shopping, me, I'll give it away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't have it. Yeah. Just let it go. So for us the guy yeah. who bought, bought materials before the money came. So, yeah. 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 send them like mm. a salo you know every mm, month mm, okay mm. i'm not there to fund my mom's uh, whims and fancies no 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 yes i give yes. her money that that i can afford that is enough for her needs mm. that, that's it so mm. we, i never buy my mom clothes i never I just but no no I, every mm. month to my mother grandfather mm. we, we have a few people who we we sort out their lives mm. from the very yeah, yeah. Mm. we had siblings we made sure that they all went to school so that we don't mm. have to school their children but right yes. now we are still schooling some of their children <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get the financial discipline that you they, taught they, 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 yeah. they, 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 they yeah so I, if, if 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 you plan for it it's easier mm. yeah, yeah yeah i was going to say my experience katiko that i i learned to say no Mm-hmm. and i learned that no is a complete answer like some of us who are very social um you can imagine how many number of whatsapp groups i'm invited so first of all i change my settings and you you just have to be selfish yeah, yeah. i change my settings into you can't add me to a group without my permission Yeah. and when you add me to when you send me the link i actually just tell you i can't join and yeah. i don't I used to feel bad about saying no until I uh, remember Emily when you came to talk to us and told us look at where your money goes especially your mpesa transactions because it's very easy to say okay I have 5000 let me send 1000 tomorrow there's another need there's another need mm-hmm. so as you say I also put and even with my own mom I became that way yeah and I see my siblings struggling because my mom is always poor mm-hmm. but she has a granary full of maize <laughs> and she has this shamba she's planting she's doing this and that but she'll always be like oh miss idea kupalilia and said so now there is because i have that standing order i also tell her no you wait for fast there'll be money in your account and yeah. i realize it's how you manage people so mm-hmm. she'll talk of course she'll complain but eventually she knows she also knows i'm reliable because every fast there's a standing order that goes to her yeah. so i think yeah. it's just to encourage people that 
for you to get to this space of financial independence because those little little foxes as they call it mm. amount to a very big amount they of amount money to a lot. Yeah. and i was i was i was sharing with people about the first time you know you came to talk to us about um putting some investments into savo yeah and apart from the first deposit the dip, you know you have to put in i think 20 percent deposit up front mm. the other one the recurrent expenditure mm. or the recurrent monthly uh, payments mm. i did it without changing my income so exactly yes yes and it was close to 63000 i remember it was 63000 yeah and that yeah. money that so just yeah, yeah. it meant that, that money was going going whether oh i'm treating so and so or i'm going out and before you come back you've spent mm -hmm. you know 4000 or you spend mm -hmm. this amount of money so just mm -hmm. because as i think this is the principle you're also driving at Mm. find a reason mm. or find a project for your money other is that yes. money will find allocate something else to do yes, allocate yes. Your money to yeah. something. yes. before it comes yeah yeah before it comes yeah 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 i think yeah. Our, our company our company is like uh, is like a school like university it's the university yeah. all over again yeah yeah so i would advise mm. anybody who wants to do business maybe mm. the books that i was advised to read yeah uh, yeah we yeah. read a book called running okay. lean mm -hmm. uh, do running lean then you yeah. understand how to make a business model mm. uh, read good to great yeah it yeah. will teach you a lot about sorry it. just repeat good repeat that book sir so good? good to great good to great okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. from from good to great good to great okay uh, there's a book, and all books of jim collins i yeah, think they're they yeah. really fantastic yeah, books yeah um another book okay. called the uh, running lean you know like running uh, lean. lean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. so it, it helps you craft a business model that's not around so i think what people have taught us is get rid of the ego business is mm. not it's not about you yeah. it's about solving the needs wants and desires of other people many of us go into business uh, i like i like yes i like I, I like this i like this i like yeah, this a uh, 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 uh. oh so and so is doing well in it yeah. yes yeah. yes but there's yes. no need yeah there's no yeah, need yeah. if you're trying to make money wrong wrong motivation for business yeah. get a need worth solving a problem worth solving. A problem worth solving yeah. and solve that problem mm -hmm. and make sure that you have the competency to, to, to do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked about our the need for inspiration. We don't pay too much attention to it. Yeah. Um, mm. Cold uh, facts. Hard, hard, cold hard facts. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You can get emotions, money, money and emotions, uh, ladies and gentlemen. They don't, they don't, they don't, they should never. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it will disappear. Yeah. If you put money and emotions, your money, money disappears. Yeah. Money and logic, mm -hmm. it stays and it attracts more. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're trying to do it for yourself, it won't work. If you're meeting, if you're meeting a need, yeah. Um, yeah. Then it, yeah. 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 But with yeah. a lot of understanding. Understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We always say yeah. the, the place for business is here. Yeah. This mm -hmm. one should pump. Okay, and um, for this, uh, I think second to last slide, um, the reason why I brought in an accountant, and here you can replace it with a financial advisor or a mentor or a coach, mm -hmm. is that we often consult each other as peers or as friends about finances. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a lot of blind leading the blind. But mm -hmm. the, I think the reason why I emphasize on accountant is yeah. because especially for those who are in business there's a lot of tax there's a lot of tax laws that we don't understand mm. and you get into this business and i see it a lot with doctors you know they get into they start consulting the business grows before they put in structures and they mix their monies so um you earn consultation fee you use that money if it's cash you pass by car for you buy something you come back home so an accountant or a specialist in that field is able to tell you, first of all, the pitfalls mm -hmm. that you are exposing yourself. Like now KRA is going into doctors, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, is going after the doctors rather. 
Um, the other thing is also tax avoidance, because then there are also, these are ways of stemming or, or increasing sort of the income. What's, what's your view on that? And I can see very few people have that kind of expertise. And then we go into the having questions. An having an advisor. Okay, okay. I think, I think that having an advisor is, is very prudent. Um, so it, it's, it's similar to what we are doing, which is reading. So even as we're reading, we are, we are using Sage and Collins to advise us on many aspects of the business. So it, I think it's a fantastic idea to always have an advisor. Mm. Um, however, uh, an accountant, an accountant is good, but we are very historical, mm. right? Mm. So we are very historical. We're always looking at okay. the past and uh, helping you maybe understand the past. Yes, the lessons you can, after understanding the past, you can now adopt them going forward. But I feel accountants, if you're looking at it from a purely accounting perspective, they might not help you with financial, either financial management or understanding of for example, Coros, Dan, if you're wanting to start a business, an accountant can add value, but maybe they won't be able to take you through certain things like what we're saying, uh, running lean, uh, the product, mm. are the, you know, the problem you're trying to solve. So there's that, there's that angle that maybe an accountant may not be able to solve. Mm. But for purposes of just making sure that uh, you have, you have a, a grip of your, of your numbers, uh, you know your data, you know your numbers, know where your business is going, uh, then yes, then you need an accountant. But I think an accountant, but you need more. You need mm. more. Whether that financial uh -huh. advisor will be another person or it will be yourself reading mm. to really understand, mm. um, you, you, definitely, you definitely need both. But um, being it's careful is very important, very, very important. Um, thinking about uh, tax, Tax, uh, tax avoidance, of course, is very important because there's a lot of tax planning you can do in your business to, to mitigate you know, your tax risk. So that is also very, very important. Yeah. We, 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 okay. read, we read the Proverbs uh, every day, a chapter of the Proverbs every day. And one is... It, you need, the, sorry, in general, you're, you're in and out. Mm. I'm saying we read, we read a chapter of the Proverbs every single day. So today is, today is 13. 13 yeah. Today is 13, so we read 13. Chapter 13 of Proverbs. It has just 31 oh. chapters. So it's very easy. Okay. It's a daily thing. And one of the things that we carrying is get advice, get advice. The wise get advice. The wise mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. counselor. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we always think that the wise are supposed to give advice. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. The wise get advice. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. surround yourself with advisors of mm -hmm. all sorts. Like what you're doing here, people are getting mm -hmm. advice. Yeah. Yeah. Go and read yeah. a book. Go and study. I mean, Emily yeah. has has all those financial things, but her closest person is the tax advisor. So she has a tax mm. advisor. Yeah. Mm. Who she's always questioning and refuting what he's saying, but she's always asking. Yeah. What about mm. this? What about this? What about this? What about this? Yeah, because sometimes we think we're clever, but KRA will catch you. Or by the way, if you're doing yeah. business and you're a doctor, KRA, they're not fools. Mm. They they employ some of the sharpest minds. Yeah. Right now to dig into all man of corner. So death and taxes are unavoidable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so please sort out your business from that area. Yeah, yeah. But, but okay. as Emily is saying, you need more. You need more. And I don't yeah. think if, if you're going to make money from anything that is not a salary, yeah. you need to read. Need to read. I, I mm. don't think you can you can escape. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I have a private chat, so I guess it means she wants to be anonymous. Mm -hmm. She says she's tried to get her husband to save, mm -hmm. but he does not want. So you guys are the epitome of complimentary, <laughs> complimenting each other. And uh, dear, oh dear listener, I am in that boat with you, and I was in that boat with you. So how, what can she do? Where well, you're a couple, but you're pulling at different you have, ways. You have, you have this, <laughs> this one, this one, I will, I will, um, I will advise. There's a program run by oh, couples and money. some very good friends of ours yeah. mm. called Couples and Money. Um, it will help. I think ten if, weeks. If he agrees. Okay. If he agrees to go, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he agrees to attend, um, I think it will be 10 weeks 
well spent. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. If he doesn't, now she has to use the Solomonic wisdom. <laughs> because in a, in a marriage, really, um, we, we are laughing, but I think it's a bit serious. It can be serious. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, um, financial disconnance ranks way higher than the infidelity, way, way higher than infidelity in, in marital strife and yeah. So it, it is yeah. by far number one. It is. So yeah. I think we can find ways. And um, for men, I know there are very few. <laughs> But being yeah. old and broke as a man mm-hmm. is a cause mm-hmm. of death. Is mm-hmm. is a key cause of death. All mm-hmm. you need to do is just let's study our uncles mm-hmm. and see. Mm-hmm. You cannot survive mm-hmm. beyond the uh, sixty-seven. Mm-hmm. You, you will die. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I I think okay. Now I wanted to tell tell you a story. Um, I think about six years ago, um, one of my siblings, year nineteen, so you won't be able to get this. Right. Yeah, one of my siblings uh, started talking to me about her financial issues, especially now with her husband. They were just not working together. He's not serving. Uh, he came from a place where, you know, for us, poverty made us want to, but we were not really there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, financial challenges made us really want not to get back there. Mm-hmm. But for some of us, maybe if you're going through a very hard time and now you look like you're making it, 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 it motivates you to spend. And not to save. Mm-hmm. I think that was mm-hmm. the situation. So for him, it was like, eh, no, 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 now I have to leave. So, but Hash was like, no, 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 we need to save, we need to invest. We have been earning for so many years. Uh, we have nothing to show for what we have earned. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, um, very expensive lunches every every Sunday with the kids. And that's the life, that's the life that most of us live. Uh, so she just asked mm-hmm. me what do I do. So I said, uh, let me, can I have a session with both of you? Can we have a chat? Can you sit over dinner mm. and just talk mm. without painting a picture that we are going to talk about finances? And that's yeah, yeah. Um, and I told them, based on how you are living, because you, you know, you just find a way to start talking about how they spend their money. Mm-hmm. I told them, you will become financially independent at 80. Mm. Which was at, <laughs> at 80. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which was, as in, like what I was trying to say. Is and then he know. said, "Bon appetit." <laughs> <laughs> you will never become financially. And a guy like that, that was a wake up for him. Like what? Mm. You know, to death he still was that at the at mm. eighty. Mm. You know? <laughs> and and that that made them mm. immediately after that when we started investing, they were one of our very first buyers mm. with the little money they had. Mm. The, the money that was going for lunch and what have you, yeah. they consolidated it. Now they're on house number four. Now they're on house number four. Imagine. You see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, and that was so okay. ridiculous. They didn't spend, they didn't send 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. Yeah. When they get 3,000, they send yeah. to pay yeah. for the house. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, and, and that way, I think for her, she has just seen this big transformation in this guy. Now he has a purpose. Mm. So, if you tell him, say, save for, mm. but mm-hmm. if and it's going to the purpose. Yeah, purpose. then there's a purpose. It's yeah. 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 I don't know how I like is. that. Yeah. I, I think as we're winding up, because we have three minutes, can you imagine? Wow. Um, there's a question also on, on my direct message box mm. that um, so you've spoken very well about couples, but what mm-hmm. about single moms? Mm-hmm. Uh, where they are the ones handling all the bills. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'd say single parents so that it's mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. gender biased. And as you say that, you can also wind up on that slide on the priorities that people feel. I, I, I think if you are if you are single, um, decision making is easier because it only requires, requires one person. Yeah. So I think that that's exactly that's yeah. the biggest. Yeah. And there are people who've done well after they have become single. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah, I've lifted my hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 even the investors that we have, yeah, most, of, most of them are ladies. I mean, you, you saw, you saw the, the respondent of your, of your mm-hmm. survey yeah. here. Yeah. It's the same thing with the investors. Yeah. So yeah. if you're single, have a, in fact, the more reason you need to have a purpose. Yeah. Because our, we're in the Baba and the Mama. Mama. Yeah, yeah, so mm-hmm. you are the kind of the house, yeah. Baba and the Mama. So I think just having clarity, having purpose, segregating your money, yeah, yeah. Uh, removing the bells and whistles from yeah, 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 and just invest with with 
with clarity. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I, I, yeah. 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 I, I think, as you said, it's it's true. I can give a personal testimony in terms of decision making, and I think for me that's very really, that's why it's very hard for me to get married again, if ever. Mm -hmm. Because you you've gotten into such a soul. So when you make a mistake, you knew it too, and mm. and that, that that also helps you to be very conscious yeah. because it's a hundred percent you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But also has that flexibility of okay, um, mm. this is my strength. And I think when you know yourself as a person, as you said, Mcharo, you're you're maybe someone who's a dreamer and then you have you need someone who's grounded so when mm. you know those kind of blind spots then mm. you identify how do i fill up these blind spots either with the very strong advisors around me mm. like for me my biggest um, support system are my chama members because we mm. have a chama and i think very many women here have chamas those chamas can make money uh mm. for us in our chama we already on our we are starting we are getting to sunset i think uh for our fourth mm. house with mm. oh, just because of the way we have Priorities and and everyone is challenging themselves within the chama. Apart mm -hmm. from the chama buying, there's also the individual members buying. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you 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 know iron sharpens iron. I think the company you keep also really determines on whether you're where you're going to go with this investment place. Yeah. So if you you you're hanging out with people who you know it's oh let's go to Russia let's do this and that it's always mm -hmm. parting parting parting. You'll find that. You know, money will find places to go, as you said. Yeah, yeah. so having that discipline, but mm. also knowing that now you also have that flexibility of making decisions, but give yourself a lot of this information that is there. And then um, also knowing that you are able to plan. I think for me, what has worked is a budget mm. and knowing upfront and spreading out my expenses. For example, my school fees bill is, is a bit high for the children, mm. so I know by the time, because these terms are predictable. So I get shocked when people say, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're very predictable. There's one no surprise, apart from maybe this one or two situations where Magoha came up with some crazy schedule, mm -hmm. but you, you're able to spread out that expense into your budget so that whether or not school is in session, you've put aside something for school. You've put aside something for clothing, you've put aside, but that comes with a lot of discipline. So then Charles, as you're winding up in terms of, uh, um, in terms of uh, earning money while you sleep, because mm -hmm. that is what has ranked highest, mm -hmm. but also tied with having a home. Because I started a conversation on Facebook mm -hmm. and it was very, uh, interesting when I told people I am not looking to build a house. I'm looking to invest in mm. passive income mm. as I use rental income to get me the standard of life that I want to. Yeah. 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 Um, sorry, let me go first. <laughs> I believe in adding when you sleep. If, if this list I can probably remove everything else. And that is the and first thing. number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't believe in home ownership. We still live in a rented house. Mm. Thank you very much. We can afford, to be honest, we have the tech, we are builders of houses. <laughs> yeah. We can afford to build a house very cheaply yeah. anywhere. Yeah. 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 But um, it is cheaper to rent. Okay. My landlord gets about 2% return from me because it's a beautiful house. I get 9% from our studios. Our studios. Yes. What I end up with 9%, I get 2%, here 7%, I will do other things with it. Yes. I don't know mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, earning while you sleep mm. is by far the most powerful tool mm. I can have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So home ownership I, is not, is really, is not, is really not. We own a house in Shags for cultural reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so my wife and my mother they have been together for too long so we built like something but that it's not it's not a financial security yeah. no no a home you spend money on it so it's, yeah. an, it's a big expense yes, yes. yeah uh, yeah i yeah. think to, to put it a bit uh to just add on to it uh sort out your cash flow first. first i think we have been brainwashed to think that owning a home is the mm -hmm. most important please thing. please move the mic towards uh, emily yeah okay thank you so I'm saying uh, sort out your cash flows first and not necessarily a home. Mm. Once you've sorted out your cash flows, those cash flows will sort out your home for good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So we've been brainwashed to think that the priority is a home, mm. but cash flows is king. Mm. We have we have uh, we have some of the people we've partnered with who had homes 
but you had to bring down those homes because they, I have a home, but I have no source of income. Mm. How will I maintain this house? How will I pay for medical? What will I eat? I have this ad. I have no other source of income and I have this house. Mm. We actually literally brought down those houses and created for them a source of income that is more than enough to pay rent, to buy food, to mm. cover all their expenses. Mm. Yeah, so mm. sort out your cash flows first. Mm. Yes. I hope I hope mm. you have an emotional thing. And you can call it mortgage. Do not it's take like, a mortgage. Check, check the French. <laughs> the French for mortgage means debt pledge. F O R T mortuary, mortgage, mortality. <laughs> terrible. terrible. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, I have never heard of that. Yeah, <laughs> anything that starts with M O R T is yeah. doomed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we've had a very nice session, and thank you, thank you for re- making it very easy. Uh, maybe any parting words in terms of uh, if anyone would want a follow up, because remember the last slide had a couple of people who said they're in debt and mm-hmm. they would. I mean, it would, it, it would be injustice if we don't point them towards, you know, places where they, they can be mentored out of it. Mm-hmm. But also in, ter- in, in, in case we, we are interested in just understanding what Savo does or how we can get in touch, do let us know. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we haven't said who Savo is or what Savo does. So I, I really like that part, and while you speak, because that, that's really our, that's our that's our motto, That's our motto annually. Our purpose, and our purpose is financial independence. It's a real estate company, but our purpose is financial independence. So we, we say we exist to enable you to achieve financial independence uh, are through what we call triple A, affordable, amazing apartments. So that's what we build, affordable, amazing. And um, yeah, no, they're they are amazing, they're affordable, and they're apartments. Apartments, period. Period. We don't do homes, we don't do... Yes, yes, yes. And they are for the young, so they are studios and they are one bedroom. Occasionally you have a few two bedrooms, but predominantly they are studios and they are one bedroom. Uh, and they are very affordably priced. You know, you can start from as low as 1.1, 1. 1. 1, I think. Mm-hmm. I think there's a time we had a unit for 1.3 million. Um, and then we have a very comfortable payment plan that allows you to pay for it without taking a mortgage, mm-hmm. without taking a loan. Just using the money that you'd have spent in the malls, in the bars, in you know, shopping, sending and pressure here and there, that money is enough to enable you to buy an apartment and start earning passive cash flow. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, remember, you can only say you're financially independent if you have passive cash flow mm-hmm. that finance your lifestyle. So that's mm-hmm. really who Stavo is. We've done many projects. Uh, we are, I think, on project number seven. And uh, we would be happy to talk to you further mm-hmm. on that. Um, you I, can, I, I can reach. I can see Bill had her, her number here and her, yeah. her, email, her address. email address. Yes. She's yeah. wonderful. I mean, yeah. She's uh, top notch. Yeah. 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 So if you're able to maybe just take her contact and give her a call and she'll take you through mm-hmm. the process very, very yeah. stressful. Yeah. And anybody who put the email address here, I think she'll be happy she'll to be able to share. Some, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, as I think we live for watching people to make steps. I think mm. this you've been on this journey. Yeah. It has not changed mm. you. Mm. You know, it has not changed your finances. Yes. Yes. We yes. Make it, we make it possible. Yes. The first is well, the very first investment. Mm. We want to sort of touch your mind to know that he can buy the inner is a Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, mm. now you yeah. see the value and keep doing it again. Again and again and again and again. And again. And again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. So if you forget everything else, you have my contact. Mm-hmm. I'll be happy to share it to uh, the, the contacts of Savo, but they've typed it there. We'll also forward um, emails of the list of books that are there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have appreciation from very many people. They're saying thank you for being authentic and they feel um, that they gained a lot. And, and for those who paid money, they said it was more than worth what oh. they paid. So Asante Sana. So we hope to have future engagements. I hope you'll be available. Yeah. And well, um, well, uh, go a bit deeper. Yeah, because I want to understand how does an architect live in a rental home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that will be our, our, our next topic where we are just talking about homes. Because I'm telling you, it's elicited a mm. lot of interest in terms of mm. 
the prestige that we've put towards owning a home and not looking at the financial implication in terms of your independence. So what, what do you look at? So Asante Sana, everyone, thank you for tuning in. We have Christine Kaveke, who's been coordinating behind the scenes for my team. And we have the whole team of Savo that's been behind the scenes and will be getting in touch with you. So thank you very much and have a lovely evening. Until next thank time. You. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.